Monday and welcome to Senora Tommy's Biblioteca on YouTube. If you haven't already, please subscribe and smack the bell so that you can receive notifications and never miss a video. At some point in my YouTube career, I'm gonna be able to smack that bell without laughing. It just still makes me laugh. So, so for Picture Book Monday today, I wanted to read one of our very favorites that we did this year while we were still in school. You guys know how much I love Dan Santan. He is one of my favorite authors and illustrators. And so I wanted to share one of our favorite books um, before we left for school closure. So drum roll, please. There's my drum roll on the stairs. <laughs> I am sharing today carnivores because I love carnivores. It's so funny. Okay, so carnivores. And remember, this one is actually written by Aaron Reynolds. And Aaron Reynolds is the guy who writes creepy pair of underwear and creepy carrots. But Dan Santa is the um, illustrator of this book. And he is the author and illustrator of lots of books that we share together in our library. So this is Carnivores. This one has been in the library. So let's quickly go over our book parts. We have our front cover, our back cover, our spine, and you can tell that we have our library information there. So you know it has been in the library. This book, remember these, but this book cracks me up, guys. I love this book. And you know what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna share you, uh, share with you the Dan Santant trailer. Remember where he's dressed as a shark and is he doing animal therapy? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll share you the link to that trailer because the book trailer is hilarious. Did our, my cat just went by. The therapy cat <gasps> from the Dan Santan trailer. I totally did that on purpose. I totally did that, okay, all right. So, all right, so let's do carnivores. I love this book. Okay, so this is the carnivore food pyramid, right? Do carnivores eat all of those books? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They eat all of, not all of those books, all of those animals. <laughs> yes, they do, they eat all those animals. All right, so this is our inside cover, title page. The lion is known throughout the animal kingdom as the king of the beast. The great white shark is the most feared predator in the oceans. And the timber wolf's howl strikes terror and hearts of fuzzy woodland creatures everywhere. But even savage carnivores get their feelings hurt. The lion tries to ignore it when the gazelles whisper behind his back. He pretends not to see the zebras looking down their noses at him. The wildebeest call him bad kitty. Just because he's eaten half the neighborhood, it hurts. It really does. The great white shark, well, he gets such a bad rap. All those shark movies don't help. Everyone talks about his feeding frenzies, but he's simply a fast eater. Nobody understands. And the timber wolf almost never eats little girls. That little red riding hood story is very misleading. The bunny rabbits always say, quit sneaking up on me, but he's not sneaking. He's just a very quiet walker with vicious fangs and scary eyes. He can't help it. So it was just a matter of time before the lion, the great white shark and the timber wolf started hanging out because even carnivores need to share their feelings. At their first get together, the timber wolf came up with an idea that might solve everything. When in doubt, it says up here, hug it out. We'll go vegetarian. Is his idea. <laughs> the lion tried to enjoy his salad, but leaves and bark kept getting stuck in his razor sharp teeth. The great white shark ate nothing but seaweed for a whole day, but it left a horrible kelpie aftertaste in his mouth. And the timber wolf tried his hardest to eat only berries, but every single berry bush seemed to have a bunny inside. They realized that becoming vegetarians was a silly idea in the first place. 
Before long, the great white shark came up with a fabulous new idea. It was the disguise plan. New outfits will blend right in. At first, the lion's antelope disguise worked out terrific. Everyone treated him so nicely. But when the other antelope smelled his zebra breath, it was all over. The great white shark blended right in with the dolphins. Nobody suspected him of being bloodthirsty at all until all the dolphins disappeared. And the timber wolf, well, he kept drooling on all the other bunnies. The disguise idea was a dud, which was very frustrating, which made them all hungrier than ever. As a last resort, the lion invited the oldest and wisest carnivore he knew to come speak to the group. The great horned owl was happy to be included. What should we do? asked the lion. Everyone is mean to us, said the great white shark. I never know what to say, said the timber wolf. And look behind here on the chalkboard, it says 20 day, 29 days without meat. The owl smiled. It used to hurt my feelings too, but now I remind myself I'm not bad. I'm a carnivore. Eating meat is just what I do. I'm not bad, whispered the lion. I'm a carnivore, confessed the great white shark. Eating meat is just what I do, declared the timber wolf. The wise old owl was Brilliant. It turned out he was also delicious. <laughs> There's that therapy cat again. These days, things are different. The lion doesn't dread going to the watering hole anymore. When the zebras give him nasty looks, he smiles his friendliest smile and then he eats them. The great white shark feels much better about gobbling up everybody in sight. He knows that he's a husky fish with a healthy appetite. And it looks like he did a trap here. Look, it says free seed. So he can eat those fish. No, birds, birds. When the timber wolf gets the munchies, he doesn't think twice about grabbing a handful of bunnies. They have really negative attitudes anyways. After all, they're not bad. They're carnivores. And it says, welcome new members. And it looks like they've got some meat over there, huh? And it says, eating meat is just what they do. And these guys right here, they are reading a book called Making Sushi. And they're kind of eyeing their Shark friend, remember what is a shark? A fish. And what is sushi? Fish. <laughs> I think they're gonna eat them. <laughs> and that's one of the things that we've always loved about the book. The, the twist on the end is like, oh my goodness, but it's funny. Okay, and so then look at the front of the book. It said the carnivore food pyramid, right? Here's the inside cover where it says the carnivore food pyramid. There's all those animals. Check this out, what's left? Oh, so here's the squirrel, look, holding the acorn. And then on the back, look, there's just the acorn. I bet you all the carnivores ate those animals. I think so. So I love this book. We love this book at Sunset. It is the funniest book, it's so funny. So um, I hope that you join me tomorrow for Craft Tuesday. We will be making a craft that incorporates one of these animals into it. And I think you're gonna have a lot of fun doing it with me. All right, I will see you tomorrow.